I brought you some cocoa. Oh, thanks. My own recipe. Took me 1,200 years to get it right. 1,200 years? That's right. You know, I must say, you look pretty good for your age. Thanks, but I'm seeing someone in wrapping. Hmm. Hmm. This is good. This is really good. Not too hot. Extra chocolate. Shaken, not stirred. Ooh, I can make that. I have wanted to make this hot chocolate since I was literally four years old. What's up, hungry people? Today, we are recreating a magical recipe from a Christmas classic. Judy's Hot Chocolate from the Santa Claus. This movie occupies some of my earliest childhood memories, and I have always wanted to make a perfect hot chocolate just like Judy's. Start by combining whole milk with evaporated milk and mini marshmallows. We'll slowly bring the liquids to a simmer in order to melt the marshmallows. Next, add in the chocolate chips. I used about half a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, but feel free to add more for extra chocolatey flavor. Now, unfortunately for Judy, it's extremely dangerous to shake hot liquids. Please do not shake hot liquids. So we will need to whisk the hot chocolate until the marshmallows have completely dissolved and the chocolate is heated through. Keep the heat at a medium-low temperature as you stir constantly. Be sure to scrape the bottom of the pot as you stir to ensure the chocolate chips are being mixed in and aren't just sinking to the bottom where they can burn and make the chocolate bitter. When it's starting to bubble, remove it from the heat so it doesn't start to burn. Then transfer the hot chocolate to a pitcher that is heat proof. Something metal or ceramic works best. Next, we'll make an extra chocolatey cold foam. Shaken, not stirred. We'll combine heavy cream with a splash of milk and warmed hot fudge sundae topping. Shake the liquids vigorously until the cream is foamy and the hot chocolate is mixed in completely so that it looks sort of like chocolate milk. Then we can pour the foamy cream directly into the hot chocolate mix. This is how we will get the perfect temperature and extra chocolatey flavor. Stir until just mixed, but don't over stir or else you will lose the fluffiness of the cream. This hot chocolate is the perfect companion to a Christmas movie marathon. And while I didn't have to spend 1,200 years perfecting the mix myself, I've been making a variation of this hot cocoa since I was about four years old. Mix in as many marshmallows as you can before your parents notice, and then ask for more. It's light, creamy, and incredibly rich in chocolatey flavor. What fictional feast should I make next? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell so you can be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. Do you ever get hungry? head on over to thestarvingchefblog.com where you can find this recipe and many others with step-by-step -step instructions. I hope you all enjoyed and have a very Merry Christmas.